Hi everyone, I am Dr. Anita from Dr. Kamakshi Memorial Hospital. I am a clinical microbiologist and infection control officer. As we are going through this tough times due to COVID-19 pandemic, it's everyone's responsibility to follow certain precautions to limit the spread of infection and prevent the transmission of infection. So today I am here to answer the questions related to COVID-19 vaccination. Based on the various trials, based on the data from various trials, COVID vaccine is found to be safe. The safety and efficacy has been uh, cleared by regulatory bodies and granted the license for its use. And all these vaccines have comparable safety and efficacy. The two vaccines which are used in India are Covishield and Covaxin. Covishield is a recombinant uh, vector vaccine that is uh, chimpanzee adenovirus uh, vector encoding the spike protein of uh, SARS-CoV-2. It is genetically modified vaccine and it is uh, manufactured by Serum Institute uh, India. Whereas Covaxin is an inactivated whole virus vaccine, uh, it is manufactured by Bharat Biotech. Uh, when these vaccines are introduced in the body, it prompts the immune system to produce the protective level of antibodies against uh, SARS-CoV-2 antigen. So, two doses, 0.5 ml each, need to be given by uh, intramuscular injection uh, at an interval of 28 days. First dose is a priming dose and uh, the second dose is a booster dose to boost the immune system to achieve uh, protective levels of antibodies. And uh, it must be ensured that the entire course of vaccination is completed uh, by only one type of vaccine uh, that is either uh, Covaxin or Covishield. And as of now, the interchangeability of vaccines are not advisable. As recommended, uh, these COVID vaccines are stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius in isolated refrigerator and the vaccines are being administered to the beneficiaries in the COVID-19 vaccination centers. So common side effects due to COVID-19 vaccination includes uh, fever, uh, headache, uh, chills and uh, injection site tenderness, injection site pain or swelling. And uh, a small number of people have had uh, severe allergic reactions like anaphylaxis and uh, they are very rarely reported. After you get COVID-19 vaccination, uh, it is uh, advised you to stay there at the vaccination center for uh, at least uh, 15 to 30 minutes for observation. And uh, the treatment can be provided if you have any severe allergic reactions due to vaccination. So as per recommendations, in accordance with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, the initial phase of COVID-19 vaccination has been launched uh, for the priority group, healthcare workers and frontline workers, uh, since they are at high risk to contract the infection and transmit the infection. Subsequently, the next phase of uh, vaccination has been launched for the age group, more than 60 and 45 to 59 years with comorbid conditions. So, persons with comorbid conditions like the diabetes, hypertension, cancer are considered high risk patients and uh, they need to be vaccinated. So, protective level of uh, antibodies are generally developed after two weeks of completion of uh, uh, vaccination schedule. Yes, uh, irrespective of past history of COVID-19 infection, uh, it is advisable to receive uh, the entire course of COVID-19 vaccination schedule. Uh, a person with uh, suspected and confirmed the COVID-19 infection uh, should defer uh, vaccination for uh, at least 14 days after symptoms resolution. So as of now, it is not advisable to receive COVID-19 vaccine uh, in case if you are uh, pregnant or a lactating mother or planning for pregnancy. So COVID-19 vaccination is an important part of COVID-19 protection. 
uh, but still it's very essential to follow uh, covid appropriate behaviors like uh, hand washing and the following uh, uh, physical distancing and uh, wearing a mask for our personal safety and to prevent the transmission of a covid 19 infection in the community thank you Thank you.